Every bubble application is different in its design, its database structure, and all of the workflow logic. But there are three areas you need to address no matter what type of app you're building. These are areas we go over with all of our clients over and over again. In this video, I'm going to break down each of these sections so that you can build your app properly from the start. And stick around until the end because the last one is going to help you ensure you can manage your app's own data as efficiently as possible. Bubble has a suite of tools and capabilities that will allow you to manage your app's privacy and security. A lot of these things work right out of the box, but most of these areas you can completely customize to fit your own app. For example, you can set up a password policy where you define the number of characters that have to be typed in, what types of characters they need, and Bubble can also help you by checking the strength of the password. You can also set up completely custom user roles and permissions by leveraging your own database structure. It's completely up to you to create a list of role titles and assigning logic to each of those titles to say, if a person is this title, then they can either access or not access certain data, or maybe they can partially access in a read only manner versus an edit manner. By leveraging your database structure, you can implement really custom privacy rules as well. Privacy rules are a built-in capability that Bubble has to create server-side restrictions to data, but it still is up to you to define the rule itself. And the more organized you are in your database architecture, where you've created clear roles that you can link to users, the more flexible those privacy rules can be, and really the more granular they can be for your app's functionality. You can also create custom logic to determine who can even access a page in your application. Again, this can leverage your database structure. It can take advantage of some built-in capabilities that Bubble has where Bubble can detect if somebody's logged out versus logged in. You can even pull information from the URL if they're coming from an external site. There's a lot of different pathways that you can take to navigate users from page to page, depending on who they are and where they're trying to go in a way that keeps everything secure for everyone involved. You can also create and enforce custom policies to prevent unauthorized access to things like your data sets or access to pages. This can look like email confirmations, password confirmations, typing in a code that was sent via text message. You can have users go through a prerequisite set of steps before they can move forward. You can even create functionality that has users approving data submitted by other users. For example, an employee submits a timesheet and then a manager has to approve that timesheet before the employee can get paid. All of these things are under your control. Most of it has to do with your database structure, but it also involves getting creative with your own logic. It's really up to you to put together the puzzle pieces to create a system that's going to lock everything down and only give access to those who need it. Customizing your app security is critical no matter what type of application you're building. Now remember, there's a lot of security things that are happening behind the scenes that Bubble is handling for you at the server level, things like encrypting passwords, all that stuff that you don't need to worry about. But when it comes to a custom application, there are going to be custom needs. So don't forget about that layer that you need to add to your application. It's not enough to just have the app working, but you need to make sure you account for any edge cases, any holes in the system that could potentially have unauthorized access to your data sets or to your pages. Take a moment to review every corner of your application and make sure that those uh, are being addressed. Bubble has the capability to create dynamic pages. This is an essential feature that most data-driven interactive apps are going to need. An example of a dynamic page is like a profile page. Imagine you are looking up in a directory a listing for a business. When you select the listing that you want from your search results, you're taken to a new page to see all of the details about that business. If you go back to your search result, you select a different business, you're taken to the same format of that page, but now the data has changed to a different business. So in your development, you're really just designing one page. It's kind of like setting up a template. This is your dynamic page. And it's dynamic because depending on what data you send to the page, right, from search result 
to now I want to see this one entity's detail, the information is going to be swapped out, right? The content is different, but the structure of the page, the functionality on that page, the layout, the way that everything looks, that's the same. So you don't actually have to literally create multiple pages for every record in the database. Again, this is critical for data-driven interactive apps. And you have the ability to create this and take advantage of a listing system, a profile system, any kind of a detail page, right? And this will let you really scale your application. So it doesn't really matter how many records or entities there are in the database, they're all gonna follow to this one template. You also have the ability to customize the URL on this dynamic page, right? If you want to share this page with someone, you need to be able to have a unique address that takes the user to the page and passes the right information to it. Bubble actually has multiple ways of customizing that URL so that you can have something that makes sense for your app. The dynamic page capability is something that all apps can take advantage of no matter what industry or level of complexity, whether you're in construction, real estate, education, healthcare, engineering, personal development, it doesn't matter if this is an internal app or an external app, the dynamic page is really gonna help you maintain a clean and organized and interactive experience for your user. And of course it will help you scale. So I encourage you to take advantage of it wherever you can. Creating an admin page in your bubble application is not usually something you first think about when you're putting together your core functionality of your app. But this is something we encourage all of our clients to think about at the start of their development because it's usually something that they'll need long term. When we talk about an admin page, we're talking about a page that you create for yourself as the app owner to have a system wide view of everything that's going on in your app and to be able to create a customized set of functionality that's going to make it easy for you to manage data. So for example, if you have to manage a list of categories that your users need to choose from drop downs or radio buttons in the rest of the application, this is a great place to build out that functionality. If you need to manage your users' subscriptions in a manual way or track what their subscriptions are looking like, when's the next payment, whose credit card has failed, how many subscriptions at each tier do you have? Those important insights that you wanna be able to gather from your app can all come together in a customized system admin page that you create for yourself. So this is a dedicated area where you design the interface to work for you. And of course you can protect this page so that only you can access it. Yes, you can go into your bubble editor and do to an extent, most of this type of functionality, go into the app data, manage records, see all of your data, but there's going to be a point where those views are not not giving you the perspective that you need. You may need to be able to visualize in a different way with charts and graphs. You may need to be able to search in a different way across multiple tables, aggregate on your data so that you can find calculated values and more. So this system admin page concept is something that you have the ability to do just like any other page you can create in your app. But think about what's going to help you, what's going to serve you grow your application long term. A lot of times it's just as simple as putting together a quick table with a custom view of your data to really gather a lot of insights and help you make better decisions for your app moving forward from there. Now, these capabilities I've gone over are typically at the top of our list, no matter what type of app we're reviewing with our own clients. But in order for you to build your app properly from the beginning and maintain it long term, you not only need to understand which capabilities make the most sense for your app, but also need to have an overarching strategy for executing properly. Things like the order in which you build your features, understanding where you can optimize things for performance, and so much more. So to get a complete walkthrough of knowing which capabilities make sense for your app, and getting that big picture view of the strategies involved, tune in to our free scalable app workshop over at coachingnocodeapps.com slash workshop. Head over there now to ensure that you're making the most of what's available for you and your app.